your chow call? Huh? If you want to eat, you better get over that mess hall, huh? Let's move it. Come on, hurry up, huh? You want to eat or not? All right, hold it, hold it. Nobody leaves and nobody eats. Line them up, Pruitt. Yes, sir. Bow in! All right, listen up. Now, there's a disease that strikes sailors after they graduate boot camp. <laughs> a little while, they appear normal. Then they break out in filth. They become messy and sloppy. Congratulations. You went from gobs to slobs. <laughs> we'll start with you, Skullick. <laughs> Is that a beard, or do you have makeup on for a holy movie? Well, you see, Chief, I have very sensitive skin. I was just giving my face a rest. Really? Well, why don't you put your face in a convalescent home? <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye on you. Kowalski, your bunk was the worst. So you win the title, Mr. Fungus. <laughs> and your socks were murder. The aroma could start chemical warfare. <laughs> Okay, Pruitt, get him out of here. Bridge go bowl at no time. Beep, 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 they go bowl at no time. Beep, 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 beep. Pruitt, Pruitt. I want you to keep on top of these guys, huh? I mean, I want to get this barracks back to normal. Will do. Yes, sir, E. Pruitt will see to it. Pruitt. Yes, sir. Why don't you go elope with a moose? Hey, Jacques, what you doing? Chopping walnuts for a Betty Crocker recipe. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? I'm working. Well, how come you burn the midnight oil? I mean, uh, what's so important? Well, going over some of these reports, my guys are getting real sloppy. Oh, really? I'm surprised. You always ride your guys so hard. So, I want to make them good sailors. Yeah, but you're always barking at them and chewing them out. I've heard you. Sometimes I think you got no compassion. Me? Mr. Warm? <laughs> Every kid out there knows he can come in here any hour of the day and night, and I'll give him help. This office is like a church. Come in! <laughs> what is it, Kowalski? You must be in the wrong church. <laughs> what is it, Kowalski? What is it with you? What are you, drunk? Smell his breath. I'm not that anxious to know. <laughs> What are you doing, Kowalski? Modeling a fruit of the loom underwear? <laughs> now speak up, huh? Talk up or get out. Speak up. You're not in Poland. Oh. So you came in here to do an imitation of me, huh? Well, I restricted to the barracks for five days, and instead of five, we'll make it ten days. If that doesn't help, I'll lock your knees. And believe me, it'll be difficult for you to poke her. All right, Kowalski, that's it for the jokes. Let's go. Wait a minute. I think I know what it is. Kowalski's asleep. He's what? He's asleep, I'm sure. You're also crazy and lazy, murky and jerky, black and a whack. <laughs> you see? You think he'd be saying something like that if he was awake? I'm telling you, man, he's walking in his sleep. He's in a trance. Well, it's hard to tell with Kowalski. <laughs> Carry on. Hey, wait a minute, where's he gone? He's leaving. Hey, wait a minute, Kowalski. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, hey, Kowalski, come on. You're starting to bug me, Kowalski. Now, come on, wake up, boy. Snap out of it. Come on, wake up. Shark, 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 shark. Come on. Trying to wake a sleepwalker is dangerous. It could be a shock to him and do permanent damage to his nervous system. So? <laughs> so the best thing for us to do is to get him back to his bunk. Come on. Okay, but you, you really think he can't hear us? Right. And so, you know something else? Tomorrow morning, you won't even know what has happened. Now, yeah. get your master in arms and keep an eye on it. Well, okay. You know what you're doing. Yeah, I do. Prove it! Prove it! Why couldn't you have joined the Polish Navy? <laughs> Sleepwalk around Warsaw. Yes, Chief. Uh, did you call me? Nothing wrong? Oh, no, no. We were just getting ready to play a game of Johnny Ride the Pony. We needed an extra guy to jump on. <laughs> of course I called you. I want you to keep an eye on Kowalski, because he's walking in his sleep. Yeah, make sure he doesn't wander off and hurt himself, okay? Oh, yes, sir. That can be dangerous. I had an uncle who walked in his sleep once, and he drowned. 
He drowned? Yes, sir. He was a minister, and he, one night he tried to walk on water. <laughs> That's very interesting. But not to me. I want you to keep an eye on Kowalski and see that he stays in his bunk, because he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. 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 He's not here. He must be outside. He's gone. Oh, Lieutenant Whipple. Chief Sharkey, what is going on here? I was making my rounds. I found this man out in front of the barracks in a state of non compos mentis. Sir? Stone, swack, stinkle. Oh, no, sir. Just a simple case of sleepwalking. Yeah, we were trying to get him back in his bunk, and he kind of slipped away from us. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we'll take him back right now. Uh, uh, just, just, just a minute. Sleepwalking? Is that what you said? Sleepwalking? Uh, yes, sir. It, it's obvious he's sleeping. Well, I'll be the judge of that. What, what's the lad's name? Kowalski. All right, Kowalski, listen up. It's Lieutenant Whipple here. Can you, can you see me? Kowalski, say something. Is that a beard or makeup for a holy movie? <laughs> you see, sir, the man is obviously asleep. Pruitt, get him out of here. Well, you're right, Chief. The man was quite obviously walking in his sleep. Did you know that uh, Kowalski was a somnambulist? Oh, no, sir, I thought he was a Catholic. <laughs> Now, Chief, somnambulism is sleepwalking, and in the Navy, sleepwalking is an automatic discharge. What are you saying, sir? I'm saying that I want you to get the papers prepared for his immediate discharge. Lieutenant, Kowalski's a good kid. I mean, he loves the Navy. I mean, he'll be heartbroken if you kick him out. I'm sorry, but according to the Bureau of Medicine, Article 1910-1910-2G, a member will be <laughs> separated from the service if he's found to be suffering from somnambulism or in uresis. In your what? And Eurysis, bedwetting. Oh, no, sir. He might have done one, but not the other. <laughs> That's probably why he took a walk. He, he didn't want to make an Eurysis in bed. Chief, the somnambulism is enough. Now, you get those discharge papers prepared for me by tomorrow. Sir, can't you give him a break? It's, it's the first time it's happened. No, no, no. It's a closed matter, Chief. I want those discharge papers by tomorrow. Whew. Hard man, isn't he? Yeah. What was that thing he said besides sleepwalking? In your recess? Yeah. I hope he goes on his honeymoon and finds out his wife's got it. <laughs> Chief, tell me all about it. What happened? Well, Doctor, one of the men in my barracks walked in his sleep last night, and they told me to get rid of him. I think it's kind of rough, because this is the first time it's happened. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly what did he do while he walked in his sleep? Well, he came into my office and started doing imitation of me. Aha. Uh -huh. What else did he do? Well, he insisted on wearing my hat. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anything else? Well, he kept repeating everything I said during the day. Aha. Uh -huh. Excuse me, doctor. About that aha. Is that aha good or aha bad? Aha. I can't tell yet. Now, tell me, Chief, have you been extra hard on this boy lately? You know what I mean, browbeating him, shouting at him. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, yesterday I chewed him out and restricted him to the barracks for five days. You cussed him out in front of the other men. Yes, sir. You held him up to ridicule. In effect, what you were saying is, you are a bad boy. I do not like a bad boy. I want the whole world to know that he is a bad boy. <laughs> well, he was a bad boy. <laughs> well, there you have it. Have what? Chief. Do you know why people walk in their sleep? They are reacting to a kind of stress. You have put this boy under that stress. What is his name? Kowalski. Aha! <laughs> Probably oversensitive on that point. Do you mean because of his Polishness? Yes. Do you also make him a target of Polish jokes? Oh, no, sir. I heard a rather cute one the other day. <laughs> But never mind. <laughs> you see, what you have done to Kowalski, you have made this boy feel so guilty for what he is that he has become another personality. He has become the person giving the orders. He has become you. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> then, 
then how do we change that? Kowalski needs your approval. Start being nice to him. Do things for him. Show him you love him. Show him I love him? That's right. We'll both get thrown out of the Navy. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I see. <laughs> no, no. What I mean is to start paying attention to him. Do something nice for him. So we're in the Navy. What can I do for him? Give him a monogram mop? She, it's either that in order to cure him, or if he continues to sleepwalk, he will be discharged. In other words, if I'm nice to him, I can cure his condition. Aha! Now you've got it. Well, I'll give it a try. Oh, there's one thing. Yes. What is that? What if I'm nice to him and it doesn't work? Then what do I do? Aha! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see what improvement you made since yesterday. Mignoni. You need an oil change. <laughs> Rodriguez, I don't know how to tell you this, but your food is moving. <laughs> Skelnick, I see you shaved. Yes, sir. Put the beard back on. <laughs> Daniels, you're definitely going mildew. What is it with you guys? What's going on? Ah, uh, this is more like it. Now tell me, whose bunk is this? It's mine, Chief. Yours, Kowalski? You're putting me on. No, Chief, it's mine. I want all you guys to look at a bunk that's made up perfect. <laughs> Kowalski, you're on the ball ski. <laughs> Kowalski, let me see your laundry. Oh, it's beautiful. It smells great. What do you use, Kowalski? Lemon fresh detergent? I want everybody to smell Kowalski's laundry. You don't mind, do you, Kowalski? No. no. All right, the rest of you guys carry on. Kowalski, come in my office. I want to have a little chat with you. Kowalski, Kowalski, what a day you've made for me. I have a surprise for you, Kowalski. A surprise. Here comes the surprise, Kowalski. What is it? Pickles. Polish pickles. For me? For you. I know how you must feel being away from home. I guess you miss your mother's pickles. She doesn't make pickles. I thought all people from Poland made pickles. <laughs> what part does your parents come from? Cleveland. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> the Polish people. <laughs> the Polish people are so great. They've, they've given so much to our country. Pickles, bowling, Bobby Vinton. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> Kowalski, you want to stay in the Navy, don't you? sure do. And you like the Navy, don't you? I sure do. And the Navy likes you, especially when you do a good job. And something else, I like you. Do you like me? I like you, Chief. Good, because I like you. Uh, excuse me, Chief. The men are going off their classes now. Thanks, Pruitt. Kowalski, you run along with your buddies and have a good time. And remember, if you have any problem, come to me. And you know why? Because you like me? I like you. And I like you too, Chief. But I liked you first. <laughs> thanks, Chief, and thanks for the pickles. You're welcome. Did he say pickles? That's right. It's a Polish holiday, and pickles is their national dish. Robinson, I went to the psychiatrist today. And you know what he told me? You're cracking up. <laughs> Not me, you dummy. Kowalski. He said I was the cause of his sleepwalking. That's impossible. He said I could snap him out of it if I was nice to him. So I was nice. 
That's impossible. I mean, how were you nice to Kowalski? I kissed his Polish flag. I gave him a pep talk. I told him I was his friend. You think that'll do it? I hope so, Robbie, because if he walks, that means he's not cured. And he'll be kicked out of the Navy. That's why I'm watching the door. Hey, but what about Lieutenant Whipple? He's already asked for his discharge papers. That's another reason I wanted to work. Just to show him up. <laughs> Did you hear something? <laughs> Somebody not. Yeah. Kowalski's walking. Yeah. Okay. Guess it didn't work. Come in, dummy! Lieutenant <laughs> Whipple, I didn't expect you. Uh, Chief Shockey, I haven't heard from you. Why weren't Kowalski's discharge papers on my desk today, as I asked? Well, you see, sir, I was trying a little experiment. It'll prove whether or not Kowalski is a sleepwalker. No, we had all the proof we needed last night, so why don't you prepare those papers, and I'll wait for them. Now? No. Well, sir, if you could give me a little more time, just say... Now. 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 <laughs> Come in. Oh, there now, Chief. That's all the proof you need. That's two nights in a row. But why don't you take him back to his bunk, then come back and complete those papers? Gee, I'm sorry, Chief. I didn't know you are busy. I'll come back another time. That's amazing. You'd swear he was awake. Lieutenant, this man is awake. What? He's right. He's awake. And I can prove it. Kowalski, what did I give you today in the office? Pickles? See? He's awake. <laughs> Kowalski, I like you. I really like you. I like you too, Chief. I like you better than you like me. <laughs> Kowalski, would you tell me why you decided to visit Chief Sharkey at this hour of the night? Yes, sir. Uh, you see, uh, I couldn't sleep because something's been bothering me. I know I've been goofing off lately and getting chewed out for it, but... Well, today I had a talk with Chief Sharkey, and I realized he's on my side. So I just came in to tell him that from now on, I'm going to try harder. That's all. <laughs> Very, very well. You may, you may go. Yes, sir. You see, sir? Kowalski's not a sleepwalker. It just happened once. It better just happen once, or you're gonna find yourself on the bow of an icebreaker fishing for sockeye salmon in the Aleutians. <laughs> Carry on. You see, Robinson, it worked. It worked. The nice guy approach worked. And you thought I could be nice. Oh, come on. I know you can be nice. Underneath that hard shell is a real softy. You're a warm, kind, considerate, loving human being. Thank you, Robinson. But you still can't marry my sister. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Robinson, that was the psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. You know what he told me? He said if I use the same approach on Whipple as I did on Kowalski, I can have Whipple eating out of my hand. Oh, that I gotta see. <laughs> morning, gentlemen. Oh, good morning, Lieutenant Whipple. <laughs> Robinson, look who's here, Lieutenant Whipple. Yeah. I, I've been thinking about that Kowalski uh, sleepwalking business, and here's my decision. I like it already. You haven't heard it. But I know I'm going to like it. <laughs> right, Robinson? We're going to like it. I've decided not to do anything about Kowalski's discharge at this time. Fantastic. <laughs> Robinson, did you hear that? That's why he's a lieutenant and we're two chiefs. This man is fantastic. But! I'm going to keep a very close watch on you, and if that boy walks in his sleep one more time, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. When I give you an order, I expect it to be carried out. Do you read me, mister? Yes, sir. Carry on. Hey. Don't feel bad, sir. <laughs> you did your part. You said you were going to be nice, and you were nice. You stood there and you said all the right things. You were beautiful, man, just beautiful. I mean, you are a bigger man than he is, Shark. You were beautiful. Shut up, Robinson!
watching the final run of CPO Sharky here at Comedy Central. Why? Because we're giving him his walking papers. All 37 episodes of comedy that only a mother could love. And Don Rickles has been called much worse than that.